Today I will show you how to put an object behind a glass surface like window, jar, glass, something that is transparent and has a reflection on it. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymar and welcome to another really fun episode. Today I will show you this really cool, simple and easy trick how to put an object behind a glass surface preserving all the reflections. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, welcome to my Photoshop world. As you can see, I have the model and the jar and I want to put the model inside the jar without opening the jar, it's a magic trick. Actually, I will show you a really cool way, but first let me introduce you to the model. It's Kraka, you already know him from a lot of my previous images and he's wearing cool jetpack that I modeled in Cinema 4D. So it was a really nice and fun project to do. And uh, I decided to put him in this jar instead of uh, putting him in some, I don't know, fighting scene on the street. Maybe I'll do some photo with that too, but who knows. For today's episode, I will show you this. So, basically, to put him in a jar, we have a model, we have a jar. You can just lower the opacity and voila, he's in the jar. He's just moved through the glass inside the jar. But mm, this is not quite a good way to do it. You can do it like this. But if you have some busy background behind the model, behind the jar, you will see that background because you lower the opacity of the main model. So you don't want to do that. You want to do another trick. This is one really cool trick using luminosity masks in Photoshop. If you don't know what lumos, no, blah, 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 luminosity masks are, check out my tutorial three years ago or something like that, even more on link right here. So basically I will go back with the opacity. I will create a mask and hide the model because I just want to have the jar, I just want to have the glass surface in the frame. So I will go to the channels and I will just press and hold control or command key on the Mac and click on RGB channel. In that way I will lower the selection of the brightest uh, parts of the image from 50% to 100% brightness. And this is really cool. If you want to narrow the selection you can go by holding control then Alt or Command option on the Mac and click one more time, it will narrow the selection, etc. But we don't need now that, we just need this part. I will go back to RGB, go back to layers and reveal the model. Now I will go to the mask and fill the mask with the black because black is background color. I will hold Control or Command on the Mac with the backspace and I just fill this with the mask. If I Alt click or Option click, you will see this is my mask in the shape of the jar and everything what is black is basically highlights and I don't want those highlights to uh, be seen through. So that's why they're black. I want to preserve the highlights. As you can see, now we have really cool impression that the model is actually inside the jar. If I unlink the link between the model and the mask, if I move him, wherever I move him in the jar, he's actually there. So you really have impression. See those small reflections right here? It's he's behind all of this. So this is pretty, pretty cool and really easy and simple way to do it. And now I will show you just a quick walk through what I actually did with this image to get the final result uh, like you saw at the beginning. So basically here what I did, I add a smoke from Jet uh, Engine here add a little bit more smoke. To add a smoke, I use my custom-made smoke cloud dust brush. I did this in a plenty of my tutorials. You can go back and watch several of my tutorials so we'll see how I did it. Or you can go to my website, the link is down there in the description. Purchase this cool brush for just $1. Also, I add some fire muzzle. I did that in one of my previous tutorials too. So I'll just go and walk you through a few layers what I did. So I made like impression that he's flying from the jar's floor down below and he wants to fire and to to actually uh, fire through the glass to break the glass and escape from this. Then we have some glow right here, okay? And then we have some sparks that are really not so visible, but I did that anyway, so that's cool. And uh, we have a glass crack because he fired a few times and actually the glass started to cracking the jar starts to breaking apart. Then we have paper label with uh, dangerous pieces. I just added a paper label and label and just wrote dangerous pieces. And uh, I add some foreground blurry objects, some leaves just to spice the scene a little bit. And that's basically it. And 
or the, at the top of everything. I just did a final color grading using Adobe Camera Raw filter that you already, if you're following this channel, you already know that I love it so much and I do a lot of uh, final color grading in it. So this is the final result using Adobe Camera Raw filter. And this is my final scene. I finally got my killer sting, dangerous pieces inside my jar and I'm hoping that he will not break this glass, this jar and just break out and fly away from this and that's basically the whole concept so this is the final image but the point of this tutorial is that using luminosity masks you can basically create really cool masks to hide things in front of glass some glass reflections etc actually to preserve them to hide the object behind that so now you know how you can easily put the model behind the glass surface and now it's up to you to practice experiment have fun with this take a glass jar window whatever and try this technique of course there are a lot of other ways how you can do the same thing or similar thing but we will not cover that today today is only this really cool and easy technique please let me know what do you think about this technique down there in the comments below did you know about that if you didn't um, do you like it what do you think about that in general and also if you have any more questions just let me know down there in the comment section below i will be glad to answer it Please, if you like this tutorial, if you appreciate the content that I'm giving to you guys, press the like button, it means a lot to me, it helping the channel to grow, share it with your friends and don't forget to, sub to subscribe if you're new here and press that ring battle, battle button to get notified about all the future episodes. Ring battle, maybe they should put the ring battle, I don't know. Alright guys, so that's it for today, have fun experiment and see you in my next fun episode. Bye bye.